Hello and welcome to One Man One Life. Today we're off to swap my car and hand over the Mercedes and collect the new one. So we've just gone over the Dartford River crossing and we're heading to Specialist Cars in Orpington, which were about 15 minutes away. So we'll catch up with you then when we'll do the swap over. Well, 20 minutes later, and we're just arriving at Prestige Cars in Kent. Um, so we'll have a look, have a look around the cars while we're here. So, 10 minutes. Just a selection of few cars we've got here. Oh, Vanquish, that is beautiful. Hello, well here we are. We bought the new car, just collected it. So I'll give you a quick run round so you can see. Never felt the softness of his tender kiss. I don't know if he's weak or strong. All I know is he's in every dream that I dream. Oh, now. Never heard him speak a single word of love. I never knew his favorite song. Cause he only speaks to me in dreams that I dream. Oh, Just a quick view of the inside of the cab. We we'll start off with the instrument dials. Some rollers on the steering wheel, both right and left. The actual cockpit itself. The scroll wheel on the right hand side. As you can see, changes the right hand clock. And then you've got the rev counter and the speed in the middle and uh, speed on the left. How can you be so the floppy wrong. paddles are a dream to use. Love those. Never used them much in the Mercedes, but I use them every day in this car. And um, we move over to the info system. The info system is really good. I love this. And I'll. I like the fact that the navigation, when you're setting a route, you can actually draw the letters on the screen, which is nice. I like that a lot. Phone, it takes all different types of media. Tuna. As you can see, Alcantara seats. Two little cubby holes, you can't see them from here, but in the back. But overall, a really pleasant place to be. As I said earlier, I can't wait to get this car out on a long run, see what it'll do. But a best of dream, it's just a fantasy. If I touch his hand, he'll disappear. Well, I've 
had the car for a day now. I'm absolutely really pleased with it. Just everything really well. I have noticed, which I'm not complaining about, is the noise in the cab. The engine's right behind me, so you're going to get some noise from that, which I don't mind, and it's not that bad. Uh, you can probably hear it now on on the footage that I'm doing, but it's really great. It's um, it's comfortable. It's extremely quick. Um, the the info system is something else. Really good. All in all. It's a really good car and I'm really enjoying it. I haven't had much chance to drive it to be fair. Um, to, you know, but initial thoughts are really good. So, I need to take it out for a long run, see what it's like on a long run. I'll get the opportunity to do that soon because I've got the Goodwood Festival of Speed coming up. So we'll do that. But this car, I just love everything about it so far. I got caught out um, with the heated steering wheel. The heated steering wheel came on, and I couldn't understand how you could switch it off. But there's a little button at the bottom of the steering wheel, uh, which isn't marked at all. Uh, which I just switched it on. I'm not a big fan of heat steering wheels. I like I like them a bit on the cold side. But yeah, it's great for initial initial drivers of it. Is it's it's a really good car. I'm really excited about taking it out somewhere. But. We'll do a f further in-depth review um, a little bit down the line when, when we've played with it a little bit more. I'm going to meet up with uh, one of my friends who's got an M2 BMW, so we're going to put them side to side and uh, you know just do a little uh, vlog to compare them. But that's coming soon. Give us a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and subscribe for more adventures to come.